chemistry allows us to manipulate, understand and manipulate large complex molecules in living organisms and the same thing in complex materials. So all of a sudden chemistry has become a very central aspect of material science, okay, um, and solid state materials, solid state physics, as well as, you know, biology. Okay, molecular and cellular biology. So, so it's a great time um, for chemists. I think the challenge is, is understanding enough biology or material science and solid state physics to ask very thoughtful questions that can be answered by chemists that really tackle a fundamental problem in another field. Okay. You can make up a problem in biology or material science and solve it, but that's not so interesting. It's going into those fields, understanding fundamental opportunities and problems in those fields, and then using chemistry to solve it. That is a real challenge uh, to graduate students and postdocs, okay? Because when I was a graduate student or a postdoc, the problem was there. Somebody defined the problem. The only thing you had to do was be smart enough to figure out the answer. Nowadays, the challenge in science for younger people is not only to figure out how to solve the problem, but figure out what problem to solve, okay? And that's a lot harder. I'm glad I'm not a starting assistant professor because that's a lot harder. And I think part of the challenge in our training is we train students how to solve problems. We don't necessarily do a great job training them to ask what problems to solve, okay? So that's, I think, uh, as we move forward and chemistry becomes more interdisciplinary, that's a challenge for us as chemists on how to train our students.